Dash of Reaper. <laughs> like, I stay in scene here. Jesus. I, I don't know what's going on. This is one of those I need to go see a psychiatrist. You might not want to get close. We a little wild war. Covered in tattoos. Run it up, taking all the views. Stepping on place, feeling the fear. I know you're feeling it in the air. Whole squad wearing all black. Motivations looking real bad. Huh? We back to the bone. Raising a fire alone. We ain't never needed nobody. Give me six feet, this is my party. Ain't got no feelings, we heartless. Take a peek inside the darkness. Blow up the spot, then we run it. Ready and ready. All right, good morning, Duffers. We are out here at Rio Mar in Puerto Rico. This is a Troon experience golf course. I've played many of Troon uh, golf courses and have a lot of ratings against them. This looks to be a very, very uh, put together course. The service out at the front was great. We're getting ready to tee off today again with my brother. I've got Mr. Don Robbie himself. Everyone who knows the stories behind Don Robbie knows the jokes and everything that's going on this, but this is my father coming out here today to chauffeur. And we've got little Ava out here today. This is Michael's daughter. We're gonna get out here on the first hole, grip and rip, duffer style, no warm up. Let's see what we're gonna do with this. All right, Rio Mar, hole one, par four, 410 yards. As you can see here, under uh, another turtle bay out here, we got all these turtles sitting out here chilling, catching some sun. But we're gonna have to stick it out here near the 150 marker out here, again out far right, stay out of the rough high, and see if we can bring it in there. Since this was a first hole par, we know what time it is. Uh, Mr. Michael, would you please get over here? We made par in that first hole. So that means the dude bag comes out to play. Par is a shot, Our birdie is two shots, eagle is three shots, they're all chilled too. As he's moving the camera in Oakland. Like, I stay in scene here. Cheers up. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> there we go. See here is very definitive. The True and Experience Golf Course actually does a very, very good job of separating its tee boxes from its rough. So you can see here, tee box, tee box, tee box, very nice and trimmed. Uh, the fairways are immaculate today. Uh, the layout of this course is amazing. Fuck! Good butt. Boom. Oh. Right down the middle. Yeah, there's multiple different tees to play your round at from. So like the women's tees or the forward tees, to be politically correct, um, are the front ones in the furthest up. Then you can play for the furthest back. It makes a difference in the course layout or length um, by a few hundred yards per tee box. All right, stop, 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 stop. All right, Duffers, this is the next par three. It's a 162 yard shot. It is the Las Vegas Challenge. This hole today is brought to you in part by Exile Brewing Company out of Des Moines, Iowa. All right, these guys just sponsored the hole today. If we drop a hole in one here, we are going to Las Vegas on Exile's dime. Duffers Review, par three, and Exile, Las Vegas Challenge. Fuck. Surprise, motherfucker. There's nothing but water and hazard all the way up the right. Um, a little bit up to the left, so this is going to be a very strategic play off the tee to get it in play and then fire off down into the hole. He came out with some vengeance for today. Three, two, one. All right, we're at the mid-round review at Rio Mar in Puerto Rico. Where are we at? No, where are we? Rio what? Real Mar. We are halfway through a what's turned out to be an absolutely gorgeous course. We are playing the river course today um, out here. Right now, and what we've played so far, this is, I managed to get this off of golf now at 176 uh, for two players, $30 for a rider for both uh, my dad and Ava. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and give this mid-round review uh, five mixed drinks. 
I'm having a time of my life. The course is definitely a difficult. Every hole so far has had a hazard left and or right. But as you can see here, the course is in immaculate condition. They've cut everything back to the hard roughs. Second cut is looking good. The tee boxes, some of them have a little room for improvement, but again, this is a par three. So I can see how there's a little bit more damage that's to be done to this. And everywhere you can see out here today is playing absolutely beautiful. So here we are, par three, number 10. My mid-round review so far is five mixed strings. We gotta go across this treacherous bridge and see what we got. Let's roll. All right, here we go. So we got it, we got some guest stuffers real quick. They're gonna join us real fast. We're about to do this Las Vegas stuffers review. Par three challenge, Las Vegas. We're going at it. We're gonna see who can fire off. Four people going for it. If it's a hole in one, we're gonna be taking these gentlemen to Vegas with us. God damn it, I hit that fat. I hit that off the toe. Our guest tougher is here. I give you guys off the cheers. cheers. Par three, Vegas challenge. At least they walk away with the prize. A little fireball for the win. Here we go. Ooh, Salud. Uh, man, your body ain't. It's a gorgeous course. But man, every hole so far, there is major fucking rough one side or the other. I've never seen this. Shut the fuck up about that spoon. It makes sense. <laughs> there is no spoon. If there wasn't a spoon, then what the fuck are you holding? He tried to avoid the water at all costs. At all costs today. <laughs> that's my last ball. That's not my ball. River course, hole 18. A par four, 380 yard, beautiful rainforest mountain behind us. Ah, well, it was solid. Final hole of the day. Um, we're about to tap out here and get up to the uh, shack, turn all the, re the gear and stuff in, wrap down. Definitely, this is a must. When you come out to Puerto Rico, you should be playing this course. All right, Duffers, we just finished up. We're wrapping up. This is the behind the scenes real quick, but we want to make sure we give you our final review. I'm officially at a 3.5 for a mixed strength course. Now, I want to make very clear on this. Come play this course. The only reason I'm giving it a 3.5 is every single hole has a hazard, major hazard, left or right, basically taking out an entire side of the entire hole. We lost a fortune in golf balls out here today. This is a tough course. However, duffers, listen to me. If you're a duffer. Bring an extra club just to snap one. The just so you can snap a club. <laughs> like, it is a beautiful course. You've got the, uh, the mountains with the rainforest behind you. You've got scenes everywhere. So I'm on a mixed drink scale, giving it a 3.5. All right, good afternoon, Duffers. This is Duffer One back out here once again. This is Vacation Golf. Vacation Golf with Duffers Review. Duffers Review. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm already fucking it up right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to punch it. Getting ready to come out here and fire off some great shots and stuff today. We're going to get wild and crazy. We're already in the national drink at hand. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? A little rum and coke. We're on the first tee box. We're ready to grip and rip. Let's get out here and have some fun. We're doing this in absolute duffer fashion. No warm up. Grip and rip. Yeah. All right, Duffers, we're out of hole three. This is obviously the first par three, so we know what that is. This is the Las Vegas Duffers Challenge. Hole in one, I gotta take my brother to Vegas. That I pulled left. Vegas. Oh. Really good par. Hole four aligns up here at the beach. 
right next to the beach. All right, Duffers, you know what this means. We are back up at another par three, so this is still a Las Vegas challenge. Ah! All right, Duffers, it's that time. We both have a par on the board, so that means we gotta take a shot. Michael, choose your poison. Boom! We're taking shots. You know what I mean? Like, how does this? This is sand, right? What? The underneath? Yeah, like oh, this. Dead. All, the sand. They just finished what they called punching the greens. You gonna take the flag with you? Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take this back to the airport. I'm sitting, I'm sitting here giving you a green instruction right, for you to put the pin no back sand. in the hole. Yeah, you better move your fucking ass, bro. Talking shit. There he goes. There he goes. This is hole six, par five, 510 yards. This is a grip and rip, and let's see if we can make her stick. <laughs> Fuck. Hey. Oh, look at the iguanas. Look at the iguanas. Oh, they're small. And they're swimming. So, so the debate right now is Puerto Rico is overrun um, or there's an abundance of. Iguanas? And I don't know if it's actually like an iguana, but you know, the Spanish, those are iguanas. Those the are Spanish iguanas. term is basically tree chicken. So however you say tree chicken in Spanish. <laughs> so the debate out here, here's, look, did you see my little Spanish there? Polo es uh, iscondego. Mi amigo, a uh, uh, cuatro cervezas. That's all, I live and die. I live and die by that right there. Hey, mi amigo, por cuatro cervezas right here. All right, Duffers, here we are. It is hole eight, and it is a par three. 172 yard par three out here at Palamas. You got that right? Yeah, Palamas. Palmas Athletic Club. Palmas. Palmas. Palamas Country Club. And this is a 172 yard par three, and it is the Duffers Las Vegas Challenge. It is me and my brother out here on an awesome family re reunion. Uh, the brothers, the sisters, we've all come back together. It's been almost 15 years. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Here we go. Hole in one, 172 yards. Fuck you, Papa. Oh, and I fucking slice is apparently what it is. You fucking hooker. Ow, oh, shooter. Jesus. Big ass toes. Mr. Thompson, the tea box is yours. Las Vegas, here we go. Fuck. Hole 14, par 4, 386 yards, and it's just playing some ridiculous slice move. My personal opinion, this is probably the best hole on the golf course. From a view standpoint, absolutely. Hell yeah. This is every aspect of Puerto Rico. It's the beach line, it's the mountains, it's the hills, it's the greenery. Finishing up a round out here at Palamas Golf Club in Puerto Rico, vacation golf. Um, this has literally just been an unbelievable day. We got saved by these clouds. A lot of people right yeah. now are gonna be like, oh my God, it's so cloudy, it looks like it's stormy. This was the best gift of golf today. 100%. You could have you could have asked for, no, it wasn't left. It was actually right, look at this. Yeah, yeah. This is hard right. So I'm giving you the final review for playing the pack. That is Palmas Athletic Club. It's a $180 course. Puts it at number two in the island, ranked here down here by the locals. With that being said, we had to get out of here and try it out. We couldn't get on the number one course due to a tournament, so we went to second best. Second best still turned out to be an amazing time. Here's what we did. We went out um, early in the morning. We shot um, for probably about six, seven hours, and it was an absolute blast. Playing against the iguanas out on the course, playing against the weather and some of the most prestigious signature holes you could find. With that being said, we lost 16 golf balls, um, and I'm gonna walk away um, at saying this is a four premium shot course. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and keep on swimming.